Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to Grilled Cheese Day. Yes, it is April the 12th, Grilled Cheese Day. And what better companion to grilled cheese other than Vegemite? Yes, Vegemite. I'm going to show you my Vegemite and grilled cheese sandwich. So Vegemite is a much maligned spread we Australians sometimes like to eat and it is a yeast and vegetable extract. Now I know in the UK they have Marmite which is a meat and yeast extract. That's what Vegemite looks like in the jar, this thick brown substance. Now the reason it's maligned by our international friends is because they tend to put too much on and it takes a while to get used to. It is an acquired taste and it's salty. So I have buttered my bread. Yes, you must butter your bread. Vegemite is best if it has an accompaniment of butter and it's farmer's wholemeal, but the bread of your choice. You then, you do not take a big chunk like that. You just spread, oops, dropped it on the board, a little bit. Now I'll probably put more than I would recommend for you guys because I like it and I've had quite a taste for it over the years as I've grown up in Australia. But I suggest you just put a little bit on both sides, both pieces of bread, your bottom and your lid of your grilled cheese sandwich. So today's cheese is Monterey Jack. Um, I use Avanti, Swiss cheese, Edam cheese, whatever I feel like at the time. But at the moment, the Monterey Jack is open and that's what we're having. You put your lid on your sandwich and it's going in the sandwich press. Oops, got to unlock it until it's ready. There you go. My grilled cheese in the sandwich press. They have introduced quite a few years ago Vegemite Cheesy Bite, which is a milder Vegemite with some cheese, but you don't really taste the cheese. It's just milder in flavour. They're both salty. This is not quite as salty. And although this jar is nearly empty, it's a little lighter in colour. Cheesy Bite is one of Reeves's favourite. But Vegemite and cheese sandwiches when we were kids at school was always a treat. It's good for you. It's full of iron, all those good vitamins. And yes, we do eat a bit of it. Now, some people actually put it in their beef stocks when they're making things, but I don't. I'm not that adventurous with it. It's just usually on toast for breakfast. A Vegemite and cheese toasty is a great breakfast on the run when I'm running out the door. <laughs> I can take it with me with some coffee. It's also a great afternoon pickup like today, April the 12th. I've been extremely busy at work and I skipped lunch. And now I'm home. I'm going to have a Vegemite and cheese toasty and a cup of tea, and then I'll be ready with full of energy to cook dinner. Shall we check on this, see how it's going? <gasps> Nearly done. I like it nice and toasty. So guys, have you tried Vegemite? If you have, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Did you, like most international people, put a big chunk out and try and taste it instead of using a little bit? So yes, spread a little bit. Remember the motto, less is best. Until you acquire a taste for it, because you will acquire a taste for it, believe me. Aussie kids, we're brought up on it. It's a given. I've met, I don't think I've met anybody Australian who doesn't like Vegemite. I do remember giving it to a Swiss couple when we were on our Arctic cruise looking at polar bears I remember giving it to um, Isa and she said it tasted like axle crease. But yes, each to their own. I think our sandwich should be ready. There it is. Ta -da. It's a little hot. I'll have to use my tongs. Just cut it or however you want. And you have your, oops, <laughs> split it now. 
we have our Vegemite and Toasty Cheese Sandwich celebrating Grilled Cheese Day for Wacky Make Along 2022. Try it. And yes, I have sent some sample packs to different people overseas. I've won, I've had one who's liked it, but then she's listened to me and used a little bit. Hi Penny. So there you go guys. Celebrating Grilled Cheese Day. Bye for now.